Um, I didn't. I wasn't prepared. We know that. That's yeah. all we like. That. So, but um, yeah, like the sister says, bring the whole tithe into the storehouse, that there may be food in my house, and test me in this. And he's telling us that, you know, if we do our part, he's gonna do more than what we expect because he says that he's gonna throw open the floodgates of heaven and pour out the blessing that you don't even have enough room for it. So we have to um, read that, but not just read it, we have to say, okay, Lord, I receive that message. And it's, you know, it's kind of difficult sometimes to, to see that you have more, you will have more than enough room for his blessing because some of us were in situations and circumstances where the finances aren't as good as we want them to be. I'm sure a lot of people feel that way. But anyway, I just want to thank God that, you know, again, he gives us um, his word right here that we were supposed to give to him what is rightfully his. You know? Amen. Ahorita en este momento vamos a recibir los diezmos y las ofrendas. El Señor, el Señor nos dice en su palabra dice, dice trae todos los diezmos a los feliz y el alimento en mi casa. Y probame ahora en, probame ahora en esto. Dice Jehová de los ejércitos, si no abriré la ventana de los cielos y derramaré sobre vosotros bendición hasta que abunde. And she's reading the same thing that it says in Malachi 3.10 about him opening the windows. El, el Señor dice que traigamos uh, nuestros, nuestro 10% de nuestras finanzas We're para que, que lo probemos en esto para que Él uh, siempre uh, abra la puerta de bendición y siempre podamos tener en abundancia las bendiciones que Dios derrama cada día sobre nuestras vidas, sobre nuestras generaciones también. Pues es un mandamiento del Señor que Dios nos ofrenda el 10% y ofrenda al Señor. Okay. God bless you. Okay. <laughs> All right. All right.